Okay, so in this video, we're going to cover the cardboard rectangle, and that is the dot in the middle of the gaze when you're looking in VR, and also the cursor when you select things and click on things. If you need to interact with items, uh, you can use the cardboard rectangle for that. So um, I'm going to cover all that because if you just download the Google Cardboard SDK for Unity right here, uh, the rectangle script comes with it, but there's no example of how to use it. Um, if you want an example of how to use it, you can download this demo right here and check that out. Uh, so I'm going to go a little bit further into depth and just say, hey, if you if you just grab the cardboard SDK itself, how do you use the rectangle? And uh, and so here we go. First of all, the let's import the Google Cardboard SDK. This is version 0 0.6 that I'm using right now in this video, and it does have 0 0.6 has some new rectangle. Uh, functions. So uh, once we get the S the SDK imported, you'll notice there's no scripts that come with there's no scenes there's plenty of scripts there's no scenes that come with uh, the Google Cardboard SDK unless you download the demo. So you need to make your own. The first thing I did here is delete the main camera, and what you do then is uh, bring in the cardboard main prefab. And uh, I'm going to put it at 0, 1 point, whoa, I'm gonna, 0, 1.5, 0. 1 1.5 seems to be a good location for the head. And I'm just going to throw a plane on the ground. Okay. Uh, so now the Google Cardboard, you know, we have a, a working game here. I can't see the sky because I need to, I would need to go to the uh, main camera and the left and the right camera and change that from solid color to skybox um, but now I'll see the sky but um, the rectangle is I'm gonna save my scene scene test the rectangle is not on the cardboard main prefab and so if you look in the prefabs folder there is a folder called UI and in the UI folder yes believe it or not the cardboard rectangle but what do I do with it well let's put that onto the head because when you turn your head the heads rotation you're gonna want that rectangle on the screen so now I have two children underneath of head that's main camera and rectangles cardboard rectangle so if I start the game again you will see that if you're looking at the horizon line you can't see it because it's white but other than that uh, the rectangle is in the center of the screen. Now, if you think it looks funny because it's not quite in the middle, that's just because on the cardboard main, we're using the card the uh, to May 2015. If you, if you go here to the June 2014, you'll see that the dots are right in the middle of the screen on both eyes when we're in VR. So no worries about that. Everything's working great here. Uh, but it's just a dot. If I look at the cardboard rectangle, there's a script called cardboard rectangle, and there is a shader that lets me change the color. So if we want to select something, first of all, we need to create something to select. I'm going to create a cube. And when I create a cube, by default, it already comes with a box collider on it. So we're going to need to have at least a box collider or a trigger. Um, you're going to need a couple of things to make this work. First of all, the main camera needs to have a uh, physics ray caster on it. So I'm going to add that physics ray caster. And there's an event mask, which is all the layers. Um, so that just has a physics ray caster on the camera wherever you're looking at all times. And I can select which layers I want that to actually, the physics to actually collide with. Right now it's going to collide with everything and the box is on the layer default. Um, so it's going to hit it. The next thing you're going to need to add is a UI event system. And on the event system you're going to need to add a gaze input module. So now that we have a gaze input module, the cube has a collider on it. The main camera has the physics ray caster with the layer of the same layer of the object that you're trying to select. And the, the cardboard rectangle is a child of head. We should be able to select this box. 
So let's try it out. Here's the box, and there it is. Well, what is happening here? It's kind of hap it's kind of working, but it's kind of not. When I move my mouse, it's why would that be happening? Well, on your event system, you need to move your gaze input module up to be the first script underneath of the event system. And so what's happening here in Unity is the standalone input module is getting input from the mouse, and that's interfering with uh, the gaze input module. So you need to have that priority, the gaze input module, and then your standalone input module. Now that that's done, I can select that box. And here's the cool thing about the cardboard rectangle script is this just works automatically. Now if I want to click on this box and have it do something, uh, we need to do first of all we need to have the box do something how about let's make it move I'm gonna make a script called move up and on this script we're just gonna we're just gonna make a brand new function and it needs to be public and the reason why is because the event system is gonna be accessing it and so to give to give this function uh, to, to make this function available to other scripts and components like the event event system you need to make it public. So I'm going to make a public void. Move up. And all I'm going to do is say transform dot position is plus equals new vector 3. And we're going to say 0 in the X, 1 in the Y, and 0 in the Z. So that's just going to say, hey, um move up you can't name it the same thing as you named your script oh of course you can't sorry about that move box up okay so it's just gonna take the position and move it up by one in the y-axis now to use that script or that function when you click on the box, all you need to do is go to the cube and add an event trigger. And because we've made the event system that has the gaze input module on it, it's automatically going to work when we use these functions called pointer enter, pointer exit, pointer down, pointer up, and pointer click. Um, so those are all handy, but I'm going to use pointer down because on the Google Cardboard, when you just push that button down, I want it to automatically fire. And you're going to click the plus button. Now, it needs a game object here. Um, and I'm just going to use my own game object myself. And here I can select all these different functions. But the one that I'm interested in is in the move up script. And on my function, I made called move box up. And I know when, when that script runs and when the pointer goes down, it's going to execute that function, which moves the box up. And so I'm going to click the mouse. There it is. It's moving up. So now you can gaze at items um, and interact with them with the cardboard button. Now, if we look at a couple of the things here on the rectangle, um, it has the rectangle segments, which is how many, which is how many, uh, Segments are in the circle when that mesh is made. That round circle is actually a mesh being made. So, and the growth speed is how fast that circle grows. So if I put this at one and start over, you'll see that it grows really slow. And this and this rectangle has 20 segments. If I really wanted to make it a super smooth circle, I could increase it to 100. Um, but 20, 20 is plenty. And a gross speed, you know, 20 and 8, I think, are the default values. So that looks really good. Now, if you want to modify that a little bit more, so say, for example, I'm going to open up the cardboard rectangle script. Say, for example, you don't want to always have a dot on the screen. You only want to have that show up when you select an item. Um, you could do that here in the script and just just work with these values right here. You can go through the rest of the script and and um, and modify what's going on if you'd like. Um, but you can really pretty much get the basics done right here. For example, 
the rectal distance minimum. That's how what's the minimum distance between your face and the rectal. So if I move that to zero, the rectal should practically go to my face. But because even though I've said that it can go to zero, the script is actually doing something else. And if I look at the shader, you'll notice that uh, the distance in meters is still at 10 and I can't move that. It's, it's a static value. So if you just look here and on gaze exit, it says the rectal distance in meters is equal to the rectal distance max, which the distance max is 10. And so if I just change that to the distance minimum, it's going to force that rectal to go to zero, which is going to be at a spot that my eyes can't see it. Now, by default, it starts at 10, so it's I could have seen it when I start, but when the gaze exits, it should just disappear. And if I look at an item again, it's going to come back. Now, if that circle is too big, again, you can come up here and start modifying your values. Uh, maybe your rectal minimum outer angle is 0 0.02. And now when I play it, here we go. It's You can see it's a smaller, more, more thin. And so the growth angle, if I change this, for example, to 0 0.5, There we go, we have a much smaller rectal that only shows up when I'm looking at an item. All right, you guys, I gotta move this box to the sky. In the meantime, push a like and a subscribe. Hopefully this video helps you out and uh, share your cardboard and your VR games and experiences and uh, make some really cool stuff. Thanks for watching, guys.